What's good guys, just wanna make this quick video, quick announcement, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm no longer gonna drink alcohol until I hit 500 users for GoToLister. So, like years in the past, I've shot goal videos, like what my goals are for the year. And this year I didn't really shoot one. I think I shot one when I was in Barcelona, like just an update, life update video, and I gave some goals. But I actually did shoot one this year, but I think I published it unlisted. I don't really think I published any public one. The reason why I didn't publish it is I watched the video again and I always feel like whenever I make goals on YouTube, sometimes I feel like, like of course I'm making these videos for you guys, but I'm also making it for myself. Like I wanna look back and these are the videos that I will watch. Like I probably won't watch a video of me being like, hey guys, sign up for my webinar, click the link below, blah, blah, blah. But I will watch these videos. So these videos are the videos like I'm talking to myself in the future. And I always feel like I have to say that my my goal for the year is Amazon oriented because like my channel's all about Amazon. My personal brand is like tied with Amazon. But honestly guys, I just wanna be a world salsa dancer, world champion. No, I'm fucking with you guys, I don't know. <laughs> I do love salsa dancing, but I don't wanna be. No. My focus is go to Lister. Because in the past, what I've done is I've deviated all my attention towards like eight different things. And I felt invincible because like things have gone right. Like I started doing, like I started, when I started networking, like everything just like, networking was like the thing that made everything happen. And when I was doing books, I started doing like these liquidation deals. You know, I would see like 20, 20K profit in a weekend of textbooks, me driving around the country in my fucking car. And then shortly after that, restricted inventory popped off, doing like 80K months, 5K, five figures plus profit each month. You know, as like a 23, 24 year old kid. And seeing that, I'm just like, damn, you know, like I can do anything. Like this online business shit is real and I'm gonna fucking dominate it. And then um, I think I got a little distracted because my attention was just too many directions. Like I felt invincible. I felt like, I remember moving in with Steve Rakin in Miami and we had like a pretty successful year and um, restricted inventory grew. Uh, we, we sold some courses together. We did some mentorship and that did well. <clears throat> it was pretty crazy. Like I did my first we did 28,000 in sales in one day. And I just remember that blew my fucking mind. I remember calling my dad and being like, dad, I just did 28,000 in sales. I made 7,000 profit and split the other 7,000 with Steve. And like, that was when I really realized like, there's so much opportunity out here. And uh, what was I about to say about that? Yeah, I actually remember thinking back to school because when I was in high school, I wasn't a good student because I chose not to be, because I chose wrestling to be my priority. All I cared about was becoming a state champion. I ended up getting to state finals, but I fucking lost. And, but like, that was my goal. My only goal was I want to win state. I remember second semester, senior year, all grades went to shit. My school, you had to, you couldn't get bad grades at my school. I went to magnet school, smart school, whatever. They would kick you out. So um, my senior year, the last semester, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking graduate anyway. Like, what are you guys gonna do? Kick me out this last semester? I remember everything just went to shit. All my grades did. And then when I went to college, I was paying for that. I was paying for those fucking classes. I was paying for those textbooks. That's how it all started, me selling the textbooks. Uh, and I was like, let me fucking try. And it ended up with like mostly A's. Um, pretty good GPA. I think it was like 3.5 in college. And then in high school, it was like 3.49. I was like 0 0.01 away from being a all American uh, academic. But in high school it was like fucking two, two something. And uh, my point is this, I remember when I moved in and I learned about focusing, I learned about like turning off all distractions, turning off your phone and really just focusing on what's important. You know, what's your goal of the day? I read the, the, the book, The One Thing, it's probably the book I, I quote the most on this channel. The one thing that changed my life, four hours a day, focused work. You focus on like the one thing that you want to accomplish in your business that's gonna move things forward. And I remember thinking like, wow, I am like so productive. I'm able to like build two profitable businesses in one year. 
or at least maintain one profitable business and build a new one. I'm invincible. And I remember thinking like, if I went back to college, like I, I could use that same energy, use that same type of focus to like get into any school. Like if I went back to high school, I literally think I could have gone to Harvard if I would have had that focus. Now I don't know if I could have been good at wrestling and did that at the same time. But I remember like, I would fuck around in high school. Like one of my regrets is like not taking like a language class seriously. Now I'm learning Spanish and I wish I would have dedicated those four years of high school to actually practice. Like I would go home after wrestling practice, granted I was exhausted, 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. And I'd have to wake up at 5 a.m. the next day. And um, like for two hours, I would just go on Facebook. And like we had this Facebook group chat um, or Facebook group. Uh, it was a Facebook group of our class. And I would just go in that group and just everybody would just complain about homework and just be like, oh, this is so stupid. I can't find any of the answers. Like, and we would all just go in there and complain. And looking back, I'm like, you were a fucking idiot. You should have actually just done the fucking homework. And like in study hall. Like we have one hour to like, we're supposed to work on work and study hall. And I would just fucking sleep in study hall. Like really doesn't make sense what, uh, where my priorities were back then. But I didn't, I didn't like school. I didn't care about it. it wasn't paying for school. Um, my point is this though. Like I, once I learned how to focus, I, I realized how powerful if you do focus on something, how powerful it can be, you know, over a long period of time. And so yeah, I will not be drinking until I have 500 users of GoTo Lister. Not like I have a drinking problem, but drinking's fucking fun. Let, let's be honest. Like, there's not much more fun things you can do in life. Nate, comment below something you can do that's more fun besides like having sex or something like that. Something more fun than getting drunk and just dancing to like any type, your favorite type of music. Maybe like hip hop. Maybe you're like into that like 90s fucking white girl shit for me it's salsa like when i hear a good salsa song oh my god i'm going salsa dancing tonight i'm, I'm going salsa dancing sober tonight and it's fine but if you give me a couple of drinks like ugh, the music's that much better you know and so like i'm holding this kind of like far in the picture as uh you know like you drink to celebrate quoting drake here we drink every night because I drink to my accomplishments or some shit like that. Like you, if you're drinking like every week and like, what the fuck are you celebrating? You know? And so I want to go to, to, to celebrate and I want to build this, I want to build go to a list of 10,000 plus users. And so I need an extreme amount of focus. This is my priority. Everything else is secondary. My Amazon business is secondary. Selling courses is secondary. Um, posting on social media, secondary, all these things feed into Go To Lister, so I keep doing them, obviously. But um, every day I wake up and I'm like, what is the one thing I can do to grow Go To Lister? And that's it. And I have a partner who has the same exact vision. Uh, I've been working on this since 2020, and for the first year, over the first year, I had, a, I wouldn't even call them a partner, it was Indians that I was paying overseas to build the software. They wouldn't work on weekends. If there was a problem at 3 a.m., they wouldn't wake up to fix it. The guy I'm working with now, he's got equity in the company and he gives a fuck and we're gonna fucking dominate. He's an Amazon seller too, so it's like, we're gonna fucking crush, you know? Like, we're both willing to wake up at like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. if there's an issue and work until it gets resolved. So, Super excited for this journey. I mean, obviously a lot of this was influenced by like mentors of mine who have done software. Like shout out Caleb, the book flipper. I called him and asked permission before I made this software because I didn't want to step on any toes. But um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a really fun journey and I'm super excited. And we have 128 users as of this video. I probably will eventually stop saying the number of users once it becomes like, kind of like a big deal. You know, and I'll be like the secretive software guys are like, oh, we, we can't share the number of users. That's confidential. That'll be me one day. But right now, you guys will know when I hit 500. I'm going to wake up in the morning with a bottle of vodka and just chug that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you guys are like, he's a fucking alcoholic. No, no, I'm going to, I will celebrate when, when we hit 500, but that's going to be a small milestone. The, the end goal is 
um, 10,000 plus, or maybe even more. There's 3,000 new Amazon sellers every day. Now all those don't become successful, but there's so much fucking opportunity out there. And right now, like, my Amazon business is gonna be cranking some wild numbers pretty soon. Me and Taylor out here grinding on that. Um, so don't think like I'm not focusing, I'm not focusing on Amazon. I'm focusing on GoToLister, but don't think I'm not running my Amazon business. Um, restricted inventory, it, restricted inventory will probably be around for the next decade, restrictedinventory.com. That's a business that made me my first uh, six figures in profit. And uh, that'll be around for a while uh, because we, we figured it out. We have an invincible textbook account now. So all my restricted inventory users, you guys are taken care of. So I want to make this video for myself in the future to come back and watch and be like, oh, this is a moment where Avery's sitting there drinking his laxative tea. This is laxative tea, by the way. Just figured I'd say that. Um, Taylor, <laughs> I was at the laundry mat and Taylor saw me and uh, I just told him, I'm like, yeah. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm about to go buy some laxative. He's like, why? I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like I need it. It's like I need a cleanse. Just like the reason why I chose not to drink alcohol anymore. Like I, I, I don't make decisions like this, like on a whim. I don't wake up I'm like, no alcohol. I do that every time I drink. Like every time I get hungover, I'm like, I never drink alcohol again. But for decisions like this, I think about them for weeks and I'm like, should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? And like the other night I was like, yeah, I, I should do this because it's gonna take absolute focus to, to build this. And honestly, like after I hit 500 users, I'll probably set another goal to not drink until I hit like 2,000 users. So yeah, super, super pumped um, out here in Puerto Rico. Taylor's here for another week. Taylor Jones, if you guys don't follow Taylor Jones, go follow Taylor Jones official. Um, and after this, I do have a lot of travel planned. I'm gonna go to Caleb's wedding. Uh, then um, my friend Jake has I got a lot of bachelor parties coming up. Uh, no, I'm going to, going to bachelor parties, not weddings. And then I'm going to Mexico City. I'll be there. I'm going to practice jujitsu. It's also there. And then um, I think I might post up somewhere and just fucking grind the last part of the year. I feel like I need to be in one place. I definitely want to go back for wrestling season. I think for the next few years, I'll. Maybe for the next fucking 20 years, I'll always be back in Nashville for wrestling season. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to find a place, a simple place, walking distance from a jiu-jitsu gym so I can train, walking distance from a salsa school, walking distance from places I can go salsa dancing. So maybe uh, somewhere in Latin America, like maybe uh, Cali, Colombia again, or Mexico City, or maybe here in Puerto Rico, who knows, and just post up and fucking work hard every day on GoToLister until we have 10,000 users. And that's the plan. That's it guys, much love, catch you in the next video.